Russians. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Matt Riley. Hello there. My name is Matt Riley. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to introduce myself. I am. I was on the Great British Bake Off, and now I am. A, or I'm continuing to be a firefighter. I'm six foot four, blonde and blue eyes, and I'm a Gemini. Oh, Do you need ah. any more? Oh, I was really... wondering. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a dating podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I thought that's what it was. Yeah, it? Yeah. This is my Tinder. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Do you remember those old VHS dating tapes? Do you know what? I was no. only watching them about two, two or three weeks ago on YouTube. There's what? a load of them. Up. What is this? Yeah. Oh, this... that must be an amazing there's, well of there's bizarre. There's so many. Yeah. Can you oh. summarise them? Yeah. Is this yeah. is this all right? I guess. Yeah. Before you could swipe left and right on your phone, you yeah. filmed. A badly produced advert selling yourself, not selling yourself, that sounds, I mean, essentially, yeah. Where, where did they go? That's a good question. Was it a case of a company house. that. Oh, um, yeah. More videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would hope that if he was um, producing copies and then sending them off to other people yeah. and they'd go through and, like, oh, who's number seven? Hello, <laughs> my name's Kevin and I like computers or whatever. Uh, see, I'm mm. similar age to you guys, so I should remember this. Yeah, but yeah. I remember, um, like, Blind Date with Silla Black and stuff like that, but I don't remember. No, that. This that, that was a little more highbrow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That was a TV show, right? Yeah. But I guess they went to a database and you went in to your dating agency, which would have been the thing wasn't it and, yes. you ch- and they showed yeah. you we have four fellas for you today and you pick for one of those that's probably it's centralized yeah go mm. to the office get terrified out of your wits by a load of imagine. weird men with dodgy moustaches oh. filmed on dodgy vhs yeah Amazing. those were the days easier now isn't it easier or worse i think it's easier i would lo- I, mean, I wouldn't love tinder sorry my wife probably <laughs> uh, if you i was here first <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean but it's so easy remember when you were younger you had to ring up and go oh it's so and so like your first girlfriend like oh, i'm gonna want to go to the cinema or something yeah, they're literally ringing. The parents would answer the landline. Oh man, yeah. that was awesome. I don't know if you yeah, ever so had have that. to do it from your own landline at home, which yeah. is yeah. like by the chimney, by the front door, wasn't it? A landline. That's right, yeah. But yeah, awful. Yeah, yeah. I oh. mean, I didn't have a mobile phone till I was probably twenty. Oh right, okay. Yeah, I'm probably the same. I'm forty one. So I'm forty two. So okay, yeah. similar sort of same. ages. I was quite anti them. I thought, oh, they, they'll pass. Never I had a pager. Oh, it's God. hard. To, it's hard oh. to date someone when you're wearing a yeah. pager. <laughs> I had a pager for a short period. Yeah. I got cheap in Toys R Us. It's not like it tells you how good it was. It's like wow. having a text message on your like on your waist or something. It just told yeah. you yeah, to yeah. phone someone essentially. It was wow. like yeah. some, this person has phoned you. I mean, I thought I was. What was it? The wire. They all had them in the wire, didn't they? But they were like, oh, yeah. yeah. I wasn't. Like drug dealer. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't a drug dealer. <laughs> it's, 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 no. But I fancied That's myself I as one. <laughs> oh wow. So you could walk around feeling like a bit of a GP or something as well yeah. at the same so, time. Yeah. Like, mm. oh no, they need me in surgery. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, my mum's phoned again. Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah. My dad would occasionally try and leave a comedy message, yeah. and the person who you had to ring up, who would put it on the system, would get it wrong and not really understand. I'd just get some nonsense about a monkey coming through. <laughs> Is there a world where a pager could come back? Do you think? Well, we get them still at work really? in the fire brigade. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Like the the officers have them. Right. If you're away from the fire station okay. and away from the fire engine, the other two, the two places you get told there's an incident, there, your pager goes off. Wow. Oh. Which is pretty, yeah. Does it give you a message or anything or does it just flash? I mean, I've, I'm not high up enough to hold right. on to the pager. Uh, you haven't done the pager I, training I haven't, yet. I just <laughs> see people with pagers and think <laughs> they're high up. <laughs> So it's like a page, it's just like a text message now, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. much was. Okay. But sh- I think even shorter than a text message. Literally, all you could really get out of it was call mum. Yeah. Or, you know, and that was it. I mean, that was pretty redundant pretty quickly, I imagine. Pages. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, certainly when I had mine, everybody else started sending text messages on their Nokia 5110. I was like, I'm a bit behind the times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, should we start with a, a shartacle? Let's this start is with a, a shartacle. Okay. Let's get your thoughts okay. on the pulse of the nation here. This is from Sky.com News, particularly. Okay. Police search for man who licked doorbell for three hours in California. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is yeah. what, continuously or? Apparently so, yeah. The, the liquor was caught on CCTV. The, the liquor. <laughs> engaging in the bizarre act. I'm glad they pointed out it was bizarre. I might not have realized. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I might have thought that was perfectly normal, yeah. Maybe it could be. It could be a hobby. Sounds like one of those YouTube uh, challenge Ch- videos. It could isn't it? Yeah. Last person to stop licking the doorbell wins a house. I licked a doorbell for three hours. You'll never believe what happened next. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it could Honestly, be. I got really ill. Yeah. <laughs> Look at a court on CCTV engaging in the bizarre act before urinating in the family's garden. Right, wow. okay, so it wasn't his 
doorbell? Uh, apparently not, no. <laughs> it, raises, it raises a lot of questions, doesn't it? It does. Like, and then, yeah. none of them are nice, I think that's quite a normal My story God. to us. Yeah. 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 Do you think you got, you know when you lick a battery? Ooh, I've never heard oh, it. Like a nine was a bit, he was yeah. getting a bit of... Oh. Oh, you know, oh, a little, a little bit hit of, off it. Uh, Maybe it was yeah. like Crank with Jason Statham, and he had to keep <laughs> yeah, yeah, himself yeah. alive with electricity. Yeah. So this is all I can do. I've not <laughs> seen that film, so that's now my vision of it. Is, yeah. is Jason Statham licking a doorbell? So yeah. <laughs> he graduates from a doorbell. Is to it really? a doorbell. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's pretty. So yeah. maybe he was. The liquor was under the influence of liquor, or I think he's, he's really? got to have been under the influence of something, whether yeah. it's dark magic, drugs, or liquor. I think is yeah. there, I know it's, it's a podcast as well, but there's an image there that people can Google, uh, I suppose. I, there is actually what appears to be a video. Oh. I'm gonna call oh, the video is three hours long. Is it I just ASMR? So. Like there's you... literally a man just walking up to a thing and he's just licking a doorbell I mean, right. and quite actively, he's not just put his tongue on it, he's no, like moving it, it around. Wow, can you imagine a cat. Getting some milk. That's yes, exactly yes that is exactly moment. it. Sort of gently lapping yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, he's lapping. moved his head around. This is, this is beginning to actually freak me out. Wow, that is weird. That's, uh, yeah, wow. Do, I mean, another question is, does he know who lives there? Because if he like, you know, if he particularly <laughs> liked, I don't know, whoever lived there, let's say he oh, was like keen Tinder? on the lady like that lived there, and he thinks, oh, maybe. But so then oh if she, she lived there, she wouldn't be ringing her own doorbell. So it's not... It's yeah, do you think he's trying to demonstrate a technique or something? He's just, maybe, by yeah. God. He's slowly seducing the house he's going to work. He's going to work to the drain pipe next. Like, yeah. uh, I mean, it, <laughs> house foreplay, I don't think it's really a thing. Oh, wow. Well, people do, you saw, I've seen, a, there was a Channel 4 thing a while ago. With, I think I know what you're going to say. Uh, with a car. Oh, guy yes. Was, I saw that too. A fan of a car. Yeah, he was quite a big fan. Yeah. Called, yes. They made yeah. like a road trip across America to meet a fellow car lover. And didn't they stay in a motel and catch him in the middle of the night grinding against their rental vehicle oh, or something? No. They, they went out there like, hey, here he is. The, we had another article about a girl that married a Game Boy. Was it? <laughs> Was it a Game, a game Boy? Game it, or... it, it was the game of Tetris oh, that Tetris. she fell in love with. Yeah, but the te the Game Boy was like the conduit to the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but she that loves sounds Tetris. even weirder saying it back than it felt at the time. Actually, <laughs> yeah. licking a doorbell odd. is far more. Yeah. Normal, but... so yeah, at least the doorbell physically wow. exists. I know? mean, that's yeah. very much like falling in love with someone for what they're like inside rather than mm. the, what they look like, isn't it? Because if you love Tetris, but you have to yeah. physically hold the Game Boy, don't you? Yeah. So, that's, That's it. Yeah, she yeah. had various other versions. Yeah, she had a, like yeah, an NES school. cartridge. Yeah. I think that kind yeah, of like stuff. But the cushion. Game Boy was like the purest window to the Tetris oh, wow. soul. The clear footage, and it is very clear it footage. Good, you yeah. really can see him. Yeah, shows the man leaning his head against the intercom outside the front door and licking the doorbell from several different angles. Wow. He carried on licking for three hours. Does it say why? Or? Well, the family has been named as Sylvia Dungan and her husband and children. They were not at home at the time, but the children were sleeping inside. They did not wake up. Well, Good. How loud do you lick to wake up a child? Yeah. <laughs> was he setting the doorbell off? I mean, maybe, yeah. That's um, some yeah, heavy licking to wake hmm. a child up. Yeah. Is there any, he wasn't trying to get in, was he? And just has got... <laughs> You know, his arms were really tired. Yeah, yes. Holding two bags of shopping. <laughs> I'm not putting these down, somebody will have them. <laughs> Desperate to get in. God, just before, if only I could wake those kids <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, Uncle Daniel's licking the doorbell again. <laughs> they had installed the doorstep camera a month before and were alerted to movement at around 5am when they reviewed the footage to find the disturbing images. I thought, boy, there's a lot of traffic, Sylvia Dungan told k -On News. What? Why would she think there's a lot of traffic? Yeah. Oh, does, does perhaps it's set off by cars going, uh, yeah, that makes more sense. Unless there's a queue yeah. of people wanting to lick the doorbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's busy tonight. Wait your oh, turn. Yeah, <laughs> Three hours business. Each. Yeah, yeah, different flavoured doorbells, Marmite, you know, all that. It was 5am in the morning. Uh, they alerted police, who said the footage was so clear they immediately identified the man as Arroyo. They added that he appeared to relieve himself in the Dungan's garden and entered several others' neighbours' yards. Wow. Neighbour Alfred Santos told the news, I thought I'd seen it all, but this takes the cake. Surely it takes the biscuit. Yeah. yeah nice. there, there's a, a pun on the, the doorbell thing, but I'm not going to go there. But, uh, what, what a nice guy. Um, I have a present for you, Matt. For me? Yeah. Oh, I love presents. Um, <laughs> Quite excited then. This oh, hello. is for you. Uh, I actually had two of these given to me, so you can have one. Wow, wait, it's do a, you know what? It's a re-gifted Christmas present, sorry. That is, so I've got a 3D dinosaur cookie cutter. Would have come in very handy last night oh, when right. I made gingerbread men. Nice. Poorly. Oh. My, my three-year-old son, through no sort of pushing on my behalf, is now totally obsessed with cooking and baking. Great. 
They say great. Oh. <laughs> you have to oh, buy right. the ingredients. Every day. Yes. Oh, really? What's that? Likes. So what, make him dinner? Oh. I mean, yeah, he helps that sort of thing, but he'll, he likes the mixing. Okay. Not so into it when I, then it's got to go in the oven for 20 minutes or however oh, long. That's and right, then when I it's made, isn't bothered about eating it. That's what I find with my kids as well, like the mix and all that. And they're yeah. like, they, they, that interest is there. And then once that's done, yeah. they'll go watch a show. Or oh, it's going to be in the oven for 10 minutes. And then yeah. they come back. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm watching no. Italian. Yeah, I'm watching Peppa Pig or whatever. So, like, yeah. as a result, yeah. I've got diabetes from eating. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> but so, like, every day I'm like, oh, another cake, really? So I try and make cakes that you're going to want to then ultimately eat. Because otherwise mm. you just, yeah. Yeah. essentially might as well be chucking pound coins in a bin. <laughs> well, so I mean, it's a Victoria sponge pretty much every day. Great. But uh, yeah, it was gingerbread the... last night. Oh, you could have made a ginger saurus. Could have made... I mean, these look... He loves two things, bacon and dinosaurs. So yeah. this is... Ah. I mean, I would have bought that. Yeah, so you make the dough and then you cut the stamp out for the shape. And then I actually had a robot one uh, given to as well, like a big one. But the robot, you dismantle. Yeah. It comes in like a like a one-foot length uh, packet and you dismantle the... like. It's almost like a transformer. Yeah. You dismantle it, bake the dough, or sorry, roll the dough out so it's chilled so you can stamp it and then bake it. And then you basically rebuild a cookie version of that robot. Wow. Yeah, Amazing. and uh, that yeah. was okay. That's cool, but it's not a dinosaur. No, that's it, um, yeah, yeah. These, yeah, this uh, is the perfect gift, so thank you very much. Yeah, we'll no problem. using those. No one leaves Barshans empty-handed. That's the yes. <laughs> best thing I've got. So have you got any interesting stories from uh, the Bake Off when you were on it? What series were you on? So I was on three years ago, which I believe is series five. And that was when it was still on BBC, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I, the easier way to say it is the year Nadia one. Okay. Because everyone goes, what year were you on? They do two things. So people, I still get like outside here. Yeah. I know you. And you go, oh, yeah. Do you work with me? You know, no. <laughs> Did you, did you, what was the one the other day? Were you in my antenatal class? No. <laughs> and then they generally get angry. You go, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why weren't you in my antenatal <laughs> class, damn and you? The guy the other week really upset that I didn't play football for his team. Yeah, we, we play football. No, I don't <clears> play <throat> football. Yeah, you must do. Well, no, I don't. I said, it's probably from Bake Off. I don't watch Bake Off. I said, okay, how, how am I... How, how am I in the wrong? Did, did you stop a fire at his house? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it is from yeah. Bake Off. And they go, oh, I recognise you. And then they go, what year were you on this game? The year Nadia won. Oh, yeah. oh, and then it kicks then, it. Yeah, right. so they all know that. So, yeah, there's been three series since, so three years ago. Right. It was great. I loved it. Is it, it on the show? I've only seen, like, one episode of the yeah, Bake Off again, on Channel year, 4. When I wasn't on it. I yeah, I know. <laughs> I, watched, I haven't seen it with the old hosts at all. Like, So I've seen it with Noel Fielding. I and you'd be well into Bake Off. I got asked to go on it for um, a special thing once, but no, I, I don't know. I think I don't... Bake, I love baking. It's mm. a science, and uh, I don't think I... I flourish on there in the nicest way i think i sure. think matt is a better baker than me and uh, uh you know there's, there's a certain level that I, I think i like to enjoy the whole spectrum of food and mental note never accept cake from barry <laughs> it'll be right. terrible yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Samuel's mint pies. laughs> yeah it was in the bin. yeah it's a weird thing so i i was really into it as a program i used to watch it at home and at the fire station and due to my shift this is like the long the short version of it all due to my shift pattern four days on four days off I started to have loads of time at home with my wife a bit work because it's pre-kids. I was like, what should I do that's productive rather than sitting watching telly? Do some baking. Mm -hmm. And I did, and I was all right. Like, the first couple of times. So I made macaroons or macarons, whichever, oh. way, whichever way you say it. Yeah, because macaroons are the ones with coconut yeah. shreds in, right? And macarons yeah. are the, so I made the, the, the harder the ones to French. make. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, I made some tricky. of those. Yeah. And um, apparently they were hard to make. So yeah, I made they are, them. They are, yeah. And they were fine. They were great. So my wife came and said, That's, they're meant to be really hard. I said, no, they're well easy. I'm so Matt then Riley. I made them again. <laughs> yeah. I made them again and they were great again. Yeah. I was like, so baking is easy. If these are like the hardest thing, this is a piece of cake. A piece of cake. I did, yeah. Well. So, I did, so yeah, so, so I started to take some stuff into work to the blokes at work and Bake Off was on telly and they said, oh, you should go on that programme. And I was like, yeah, I'll go on that. So I applied. And, thou you know, I don't know what the numbers are, but it's thousands of people apply. And I did it all as a joke. Like I did my application form as a joke, everything. And got through, kept getting through stages. Oh, wow. How long were they, like assessment centres or something? Yeah, like so a... what you tell you, it's mad. So you do a big application form and then you get like a phone call to say, to ask you if you actually have filled that application form in rather than your, anyone yeah, else right. doing it. So they right. ask you some, you know, some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Did you pack your own bag at customs? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Essentially, you go through a few processes and then you've got to take some. They tell you to bake some things. You turn up and you bake them. And Obviously, you, they'd be you, cold. Like, you, you, yeah, so yeah, like one right. was a bread, one was a shortbread. You yeah. take that in. The next thing, you turn up to a studio 
and bake live. They film you. Oh, and that, cool. yeah, I mean, it's proper. Like, exactly yeah. as a show would be. The people come around asking you questions. And they're like dummy hosts. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And because I... To say I didn't know anything is the wrong thing to say. But because I knew very little about baking and I baked like 15, 20 things, I thought, if this is as far as I go, yeah. this is still hilarious. And then I got on. Oh, awesome. Over, I mean, it was... I was... Like the first night you meet everyone and I was like, oh man, these people fully knew what they were talking about oh, right. and they knew everything and I had no idea. And even though the first day I was like, well, I'm going to get in the tent, film an episode, get booted off, that would still be hilarious. And it's kept getting through. So, really? I did, so I did seven weeks out of ten. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I, I had no idea. Was, wasn't there like a year of, there was some sort of controversy with a lady or something? With a so, no, not a sunny bottom, no. There was uh, a year before when one of the guys threw his... Cake in the bin. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. was it? Yeah, what? that was a year before me. I, mean, I could, have, ah. I could easily have done that because I'd intense? seen him get in trouble. Or, you know, I was like, oh, I better not do that. But yeah, yeah, he just yeah, got yeah. the ump. Obviously, oh, it's hard work. So you're yeah. baking, and there's what you see on telly. It's a beautiful, serene setting in a nice country tent, and everyone's lovely. It must what, be hot you, in there as well. But what you know. see, you know, you know, what it's like what you see. It's just cameras mm -hmm. and people, and you have to be. Oh really, my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, What's so, this and, microphone? And the thing is. The worse things start going, the more the cameras are oh, on you. Yeah. So. Yeah, because they want the action. The of course they do. They that. want yeah. they want yeah, you yeah. putting things in the oven, taking things out of the oven. But I loved it. It was brilliant, and I I absolutely went on with no idea of getting anything out of it or doing. You know, I thought just do that for a couple of weeks, and that'd be a blast. And then, sort of, still years later, I'm still doing bits to do with it, and yeah. I love you know it's absolutely it's only ever a positive thing for me. Do they put you all in like a hotel, like together? So all the crew mm. are like there, all the cast, and you stay not, there. Not, and the, you're... not the crew; it's just the cast. So we're yeah. in a hotel, which is I don't know, like twenty minutes away from the tent. Right. And the one episode I saw is sort of like there was like two or three challenges in in, a, in each episode. Yeah. Like, is that all shot in like one day? It's quite intense. So or is, do they give you that? It perception? is intense. It's just. Hey! They, they, oh no! Just, <laughs> just like the circus. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it really. Um, it, um, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you were doing? Sorry, <laughs> so it's basically my nipple. Yeah. But it's basically a flower with a flower. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I guess but it would work if it, I was a it woman. Was, it was yeah. a worrying few seconds. <laughs> just milking yourself. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Confused breastfeeding woman just <laughs> spraying milk. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Um, so yeah, we stay in a hotel there, and it's it's so secret. Yeah. Like who's going on the show? It was nuts. You know, we had. So it's literally the first time you saw him when he turned up that day. Yeah, yeah, and then you you get picked up early. Yeah taken to the tent and you have to go for your ingredients so it's filmed over two days each episode is two days sort of yeah so you do two two bakes the first day and then one bake on the second day and then did you get, did you get a day rest or was it then two and then, two, two, and two, then two, two, generally I mean it's not always a weekend but they try and fit it in on weekends so I was taking I had no idea how long I'd be in so I had to then go back to work and go oh. I need another two days off next week or I need wow yeah yes yeah, so it's pretty much yeah you find out last yeah, minute kind you, of they thing. say yeah the person you're going you're <laughs> either Staying or you're going. Right. And every week I'd phone my wife and go, you wouldn't believe it. I've got through again. <laughs> How do they keep it quiet? Like, does your family have to sign non-disclosure agreements and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was... I love keeping secrets. But I love, I'm brilliant at it. Oh, I've got one for you. Yes. <laughs> much to don't the, tell um, anyone. Much to, the, uh, much to the annoyance of my wife. But if they say to me, don't, you're not meant to tell anyone, I won't tell anyone. Yeah. I, try, I didn't tell... I mean, I ended up telling the guys at work because... Oh, the time off? Because of the amount of time mm. off I was taking. But I didn't tell anyone. Um, yeah, but then you filmed the final episode, so you know who wins way before it goes out on telly. And like I said, like the year I was on it, Nadia won. She's got two young kids who've been at, or sorry, three young kids who are at the garden party and everyone's got kids there. And you sort of think they've got to go to school and yeah. not go, my mum won Bake Off last weekend. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. tough, yeah. You know? yeah. To try and get a kid to not say that. Like when we had one day off for when we went to America, uh, just for the cheaper flights. Like, whatever you do, don't tell your teachers that, yeah, you, know, yeah. that you, you were ill. Yeah. yeah. See, oh, oh, I was fine. I was on plane with daddy. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> and it's so hard. Yeah. And, and the papers are desperate. You know, they're, they go, they, you know, they fully, because it was massive. I, th until I think it was 15 and a half million people watched the final. Wow. It was My more God. than the Olympics. Yeah. It was the biggest thing the BBC <clears throat> had had for years. It was Which serious. Is, well, it's now gone to Channel 4. Right? Yeah, they just bought it. Yeah. yeah. So who was the host on the BBC? It was um, Hollywood. Uh, Mary Berry. Mary Berry. Yeah. yeah. 
I've met her twice, and I know she likes a glass of wine. That's yeah, what right. I, yeah. And the hosts were um, Mel and Sue. Mel and Sue, yeah, yeah, that's right. The classic yeah. lineup. Yeah. No, I, I did. I seen like obviously clips yeah, of it. Yeah. I never watched a full episode, and uh, you know, they seem to have good chemistry. But the new one with Noel Field in the episode I saw in the Danish lady, is it? Yes, uh, Andy Topsvig. Yeah, 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 that was. And, and that seems, yeah, yeah, it seems very similar. Yeah. Like, um, I mean, I think they haven't really, really done much to it or anything. Or? The format's great. I mean, I, yeah. I think it's just going to get the further down the line it goes. It's just going to get harder and harder things they've got to bake. I mean, the things mm. we were baking, I hadn't heard of most of, you know, a lot of them be like, you know, weird things from a Scandinavia or wherever, yeah. you know, gonna because they, essentially there's only a certain amount of biscuits, cakes, mm. before they start going, oh, this is... Yeah. This is my fifth fine stolen something from, this week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, what's he going to do? Yeah, you've got to start getting harder and harder, I guess. And they give you the recipe? So, you know, two yeah. recipes. Yeah. And you've got to give them an advance. So they'll say, so they can get your ingredients, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Um... And then there's a, so you do one at the beginning, which is, um, you know, like a, a fancy one. The last one's your showstopper, which is your big one. But yeah, the one in right. the middle is the one where the technical challenge, you've got a tea towel covering everything, you whip it off, and you've got your list of ingredients and bits, and no one knows what it is. And that sort there's of levels no... everyone out, I wow. guess. Because yeah. everyone else gets to practice things. And I was, I mean, I sometimes, I did, I think, two bakes I'd made in the tent. I hadn't even had a chance to practice it. Oh. But the middle one, where yeah, everyone everyone is in the same boat, so no one knows what it is. So it's, it sort of levels everyone out a bit. Yeah, yeah. But wow. I, I didn't, find, you know, people. It's it's weird because everyone says about how stressful it is, and they're so nervous. And after week one, I was just like, well, if I now go home, hmm. then that's fine. And if it goes wrong, I've just made a rubbish cake. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not, like, well, yeah. it's not like yes. my work where things go wrong. Bad things happen. Mm. So yeah, it was. I I found it. Of course, it was reasonably stressful. But I never people get people, you know, shaking and so panicked, and that's understandable because it's film crews and you don't want to embarrass yourself. But what's the worst that's going to happen? Yeah, absolutely. Mary Berry's going to spit out your Battenberg. <laughs> <laughs> never said that sentence oh, no. before. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that would be awful. <laughs> So is it what being on the bake-off... I want to see a book from Mary Berry. It's just a serious picture of her face that I will spit to your Battenberg. It's like her wrestling line. Yeah, yeah, she's licking Battenberg like a doorbell. Um, so was it the... Um, cause obviously, you've been doing YouTube for a couple of years yeah. now as well. Uh, what's the channel called again? So Life of Riley, it started off as a baking channel. Mm -hmm. Because after... Yeah, I was going to say, did that lead yeah. on to Bake Off? So they are, or, I got... Yeah sort of proposition to cut the times to do books and stuff but yeah. because I was still working full time in a fire brigade and the week Bake Off went out was the week my first child was born Right. so I had a lot going on at work and you know Bake Off presents a certain amount of opportunities so I was doing bits and pieces mm -hmm. but also with a new kid and a job I had no chance of writing a book and no real I it wasn't a baker I thought I would have been an absolute fraud if I went oh here's a baking book follow these instructions I haven't got a clue you know, I haven't got a clue, but I didn't know enough. So I started a YouTube channel because it's a, our house lent itself to be able to bake. My wife works in TV, so she knew how to film. And that started, so I did a, quite a while of that, but yeah. it's also quite hard to, some, yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite yeah. hard to come up with a new recipe each week mm. and get it out on the same time. You know, it, rather than if I could have filmed five in a week and just put them out over time, but that's quite intense. I found it hard. Yeah, I found it <laughs> yeah. really hard. And coming up with recipes as well. And you, you know, it's like yeah, you've got to come yeah. up with stuff all the time and, it, and challenging yeah. things. People don't, if people want to know how to make a Victoria sponge, it's pretty easy. There's, a, there's hundreds and hundreds they could Google yeah. or thousands. So you've got to try and make something that people want to watch. That is the challenge. Yeah, it's tricky. And also with baking as well, you've got to wait for it to cool down and rise. So if you yeah, want to yeah. block shoot five in a day, that's pretty full on. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, so, half your time yeah. is literally you've just got to sit there and wait for the damn thing to yeah, yeah, do yeah. its stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. like gaming where you can just get right, that's my first video, yeah. boom, 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 I've done five yeah. in a day. I mean, in that, but that's where a lot of cooking channels do. They'll have a shoot day, but yeah. then they've got the resource then to do, oh, here's one I've made earlier. Or yeah, that, yeah. But it's, it's hard. And yeah. It was probably the most <clears throat> stressed me and my wife have ever been. Because she is, she works, she's a news presenter. Okay. So she's used to being in front of a camera. I'm fully not used to being in front of a camera. So she go, right, go. I go, right, oh, some sugar. <laughs> and she go, what are you doing? Don't be an idiot. Do it properly. <laughs> yeah. Do the weather report. I put my button. <laughs> yeah, and it, I was so rubbish, not rubbish at it, but I was, I didn't know, I was so new to it. I didn't really watch YouTube. I didn't really know the way it worked. And she was so good at filming and knew how to do it. And I didn't. Right. So the, I was like, right, just leave the camera there. You go. And it became really <laughs> stressful. Yeah. So 
in the end, I ended up doing it just on a tripod because we had to, we we're going to get divorced otherwise. Yeah, Because no it was hard work. Yeah. Well, I mean, we weren't going to get divorced. Maybe she thought we would. But. So, that, <laughs> so that led from baking. That was hard work. Then Rue was born and we started doing a lot more stuff with the, you know, the family. Yeah. And we just started doing the family vlogs. And then that essentially pushed the baking aside and we just carried on with that because that was getting more views. It was a lot easier to do because you can just film what you get up to. Yeah. doesn't cost anything. Doesn't really. co- yeah. yeah. And, yeah. It was, and it was just really nice. And, you know, I haven't ruled out, you know, if, if, I, if recipes, if I want to work on a new recipe, I'll film it and I'll put it up. It's, yeah. it's still there. You know, all the recipes still there. And I still, I still do love baking, but it's just tight. I've got two kids now. So it's just. Was it vlogs once a week now? Or? Yeah. So yeah. every Sunday, but I um, haven't done one this year. Our camera is absolutely knackered. Hmm. So we filmed the Christmas one and it's like, right, send the camera away, get that repaired and just take a couple of weeks. Because it's hard to film every single week interesting stuff and do it justice mm. and edit it nicely and get the right music. Because if, otherwise, if you just put out rubbish, people aren't going to be interested. And would you film like Monday to Friday and then edit it for the Sunday? or Yeah, sort yeah. of. I'll try and do a little bit. I mean, again, my wife, it, a lot of it fell to my wife because she yeah. edited for, you know, for work. She's so much quicker than I am. Wow. But I can do it and I have... I have done it, but yeah, at the moment, do a couple of weeks off and then get cracking when the new camera or the camera comes back. Yeah, but it's so nice. I mean, I watched a few back recently. It's so nice to watch. Yeah, you know, you have like a memory. Yeah, of like, yeah. if nothing comes of it, and we, we get a few. You know, we're not huge at all, but if um, nothing comes of it, we've still got those lovely video, like family videos, holiday stuff. It's great. Yeah, it's, you get this memory. We've we've had that. I mean, even from my cooking videos. Like, uh, over the years, like seeing the kid, like, second kid arrive, and, yeah, yeah, little bits like that. But I think it's that getting that balance right, where, yeah. like you say, you're not filming something just purely because you feel like you have to. And it, it, yeah, it's uh, but ultimately, if you enjoy it, that, that's yeah. what comes through most, isn't it? So, and, and I think when I put at the beginning of the year that we're gonna we can take a couple of weeks off, we put it on Instagram and put it on whatever. So you know, where yeah, we what was your reaction promote? to that? Was really it? nice. People yeah. are like, yeah, and not oh flipping out. Well, you know, hurry up and film something. Actually, everyone's response was, oh, it's nice that you're taking a bit of time with your family rather than just filming everything. So that's, it's quite reassuring that people are happy for you to do that. Yeah. Rather than go, right, unsubscribe from him. Can't be bothered. Yeah, well, I haven't got what I want it immediately. Yeah. yeah. You know, because there are some people like that, of yeah, course. Absolutely, but, yeah. uh, it's nice to think you've got sort of a nice fan base who, yeah. are, who understand the sort of setup of it. Because it's just a family vlog. You know, we're not doing anything. We're not sort of pranking each other. We're not doing a lot of things that go on on YouTube. It's just nice stuff, I guess. And, I think that's like natural as well because I think I was talking to Riyadh before we got on about some prank channels. It's like nine out of ten are probably set up now anyway. Oh, yeah. like you can't fake something organic and natural. So there is probably something that people really resonate with that. So, yeah. And, yeah. you know, the stuff you've made has some value to you when you look back as well. I mean, you know, what have we got from our childhoods? Probably some really dodgy, faded 70s photos of us in bad <laughs> jumpers going on Christmas yeah. Day with a toy robot. Whereas you've got an actually nice, properly edited, um, oh. you know, footage of stuff going on. You know? Absolutely, yeah. And it's, it's, it is lovely. And it's the same with Instagram that my Instagram is... Essentially, it's, again, it's the life of Riley. So it's because my surname's Riley. It's, it's a brilliant you know, title. Yeah, it's good. It's yeah, genius. Yeah. <laughs> and um, wow. and it, it, even better than that is my wife Alex, who's the wife of Riley. I mean, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't get yeah, better. Yeah, than yeah. That. yeah. Do you um, do you own a knife? A yeah. oh, God, knife I'll tell you yeah. what, though, <laughs> I might do that. <laughs> um, <Just> massive thing <laughs> as its own YouTube channel. What do you do with it? Nothing. Just, oh, yeah. just, just display it above <laughs> a fireplace. <laughs> It's like one of them fireplace videos, yeah. yeah. Just with that, just with above it. In different ah, places. But yeah, Instagram, so it's just lovely, you know, even if we weren't doing it you know, for whatever, you've still got nice photos of your kids because yeah. you, you edit them nicely and you put them up and it's, mm. it's say, far better than the dreadful photos my mum used to take with those yeah. little plastic oh, yeah. wind-on cameras that you oh, send to Boots for a fortnight. Yes, night. yeah. <laughs> Half of them would come back with a little sticker on saying, not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I went Nudity, through, can't put... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I went through some photos the other day at my mum's house. It's just hilarious. I mean, it's so awful. Yeah. The double exposures. You think that would have yeah. been a good photo if it wasn't? there's a ghost behind me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> ghost of like your sister's brief boyfriend <laughs> yeah. once and things like that. <laughs> I've uh, set my kids both up Instagrams. They're private. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, that's what I do as a digital photo album now. So I'll give yeah. them the logins when they're like 18 or something. And so I, for me as well, I've got a, uh, a track by email. I've got their own email address to create the accounts. Yeah. So they go into that email address as well. So when they log in, all they're going to get is like years of photos. Yeah, so, that's uh, amazing. Yeah, it's quite uh, like an online photo album but till they yeah, get yeah. taken down by facebook and then oh, yeah. yeah. charged to see them or something like oh, damn you oh. yeah <laughs> that's yeah that's a bit of a worry now yeah make sure you download before anything happens yeah, yeah. absolutely my goodness uh, we have a couple of questions that we 
like to ask people. Yep. It's down there on my windy laptop, but one of them that is off the top of my head is, what is one of the most embarrassing situations you've ever been in? Do you know what? Weirdly, I was thinking about something the other day, which was amazing and embarrassing. So when I was at school, about 16 and 17, I was pretty radical. What, what do you mean by I radical? Like awesome. Extremist? I, I had gorgeous <laughs> long hair. I was thinking um, skateboard, baseball yeah. cap on back. Well, no, no, no. no. I wasn't. They, I see, I've, I've been a skateboarder for 30 like odd years. I still skateboard now. But oh, wow. th- at the time, I was. I really went through some sort of 60s vibe. I grew my hair long, old wear. I've got wonderful flared trousers and I looked ridiculous. And this was in the 90s? In the 90s, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I can show you photos, yeah. I looked quite the part. I don't know what part, but I looked... Like... <laughs> and one day, there was a cancer research charity shop in the town I lived in and they had for sale a pair of brown platform shoes. Oh. Right? I think about a fiver. In size 12, which I am. So I bought these platform shoes. I don't know how big they were, like a few inches, but like a wooden... So, oh, nice. Right, you know, oh, like wow. a platform clog, proper, essentially. Proper thing, my God. Proper solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, yeah. Oak. Oak. So, <laughs> and Oak they, I think they, they were sort of tanned and they had like a pattern in leather on the toe. They were amazing. So I bought them and thought this would suit my outfit. No end. I'm six foot four, right? So it adds a good few inches of a platform shoe. Onto, I mean, unbelievable, right? <laughs> so I'm walking <laughs> for a little bit town. People generally didn't dress much like that and I was with my friend and he was laughing a lot at me because it you know I mean what was I thinking and we were walking through this little bit of grass there's loads of people around it's school it's like, like lunchtime at school and I'm thinking yeah. I'm the business here and <laughs> everyone's I trod looking on, at yeah, me yeah going look at that <laughs> look, look at awesome. the state that guy and I trod on an adder right oh, <laughs> the snake yeah yeah, yeah. The, the snake my God. Like, there. either an adder or a big grass snake right and uh, like Dressed with long hair, a, a, a pink waistcoat and a shirt, and purple flares and brown platform shoes, sh- like and shrieked at this snake that sort of recoiled at me. <laughs> I mean, I tell you, I'd love to. See, like, if there was CCTV footage, I would love to see it. Yeah. But yeah, that in hindsight, it's probably not the most embarrassing thing I did. But it was, yeah, that's that's a cool story. That's great. It's, yeah. Anybody watching that was thought, oh, he's filming that for something. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's part of a new documentary on BBC Two. Was, yeah. wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. I also once went out on a Friday. The town I grew up in was a reasonably like tough place. It was a little grim little village where so people love to fight. Is that still where you live now? Then no, it's no. not. I live. No, I live not far from it. But I went out with a David Bowie lightning strike painted across my face oh, just on wow. a Friday night. Just I was like, this is cool. People, the, the Ziggy Stardust yeah. or Aladdin say. Yeah, so sort of just like yeah. I was like, people, why are you like over one eye? Like, they, people think this is wicked. Yeah, down yeah. the pub. <laughs> <laughs> so did they? Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> luckily, I, I, luckily, I grew up with quite a sort of tough older brother. So people just went. Oh, we should beat him up, but his brother's quite hard. <laughs> <laughs> just wait and beat him up with his brother. Yeah. Wow. But what did I think? What was I thinking? <laughs> People will dig this. Yeah, wow. It's like Ultimate Warrior sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on the street. That would have been fantastic like if they did dig it, though, wouldn't you? Just go in the pub and go, that's amazing. Yeah, you go in like the next day and like, the old guy in the corner's got one. Everyone's doing it, yeah. 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 Even dogs. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Who's the most famous person, actually non-Bake Off, mm-hmm. and not Stuart, obviously, uh, you've ever met? <laughs> Become famous. <laughs> um, how, do I, how do I capitalize on this? <laughs> Tell me now. I should know that, shouldn't I? Sort of. Do you know what? I went um, after Bake Off. I went on. I was lucky enough to go into the Hooter Nanny. You know the Jules Holland. Oh yes. Yeah, I went on yeah. that. They generally pick a couple of people from Bake Off each year oh, wow. to go wow. into their audience. I'd like to say Paul Weller. Oh, he was on oh. it. Yeah, he was on it. But I didn't meet him. But I did get drunk really close to him. Okay, that kind of counts. I mean, this far away from him, it was. But I did then meet the singer from Future Island. Do you know the band Future Islands? Are you aware of them? I know, I know the name. So but... yeah, I'm a big fan of him. So I met, the, I hung out with that guy. Okay. I mean, I was nice. drunk. Did you do the dance? I did. Yeah, I mean, he did. See so you. Yeah. yeah he Again. Amazing band. Yeah. Amazing dance. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> trying to, for exactly those listening, trying to describe his... Yeah, uh, Riyadh's dance was a thing of beauty that will yeah. never be seen in this world again, I think. See, I think it was Saturday Night Live. There's a, so Future Islands on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. He was like, it was the he did first time that I saw that dance. It was pretty eye-opening. Um, but yeah, I met him. But that's not famous to most people, is it? So yeah, it means something to you, though, especially if yeah. it's like your favourite yeah. band. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. I think that's what it is. Like, yeah, something like yeah. that. I mean, Paul Weller I know of more, so I would, yeah. Yeah, that would stands out. But, but um, yeah. I was with a lady who sat next to me, who I don't know, but is big in folk music, apparently. And we got quite drunk. Because my wife was with me, but was 
breastfeeding at the, not at the top at the evening, yeah, no. <laughs> but when we went home. So she wasn't drinking. So I kept drinking all their complimentary booze. And um, the lady was trying to get me to rugby tackle Paul Weller. She's going, <laughs> no, she's like, I know him. I know him really well. He'll love it. Right? <laughs> Oh, wow. and, I was, oh and, I'd met, and I'd met his manager before, like on the way yeah. in. He was going, Oh, you're the guy from Bake Off. And I was like, Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And she's going, No, you should definitely like rugby tackle Paul Weller. And he was stood with his arms crossed at the back of the oh, thing. <laughs> Look at, and he, I think he's like a notoriously grumpy man, and he Paul Weller. Yeah, and I'm thinking, yeah. no, I'm definitely not going to do that. And she's like, Another sort of five or six pints in, I was like, Maybe she's right. Maybe oh, no. it would be a brilliant this idea. This isn't the most embarrassing <laughs> yeah, story. Yeah, I was going to say. But I think... didn't. I didn't. Oh, I, like I, tackle, I think but... that was probably wise. Yeah, yeah, can you imagine, though? Has he got a Twitter? Oh, I want to kind of start a campaign where we all tweet him. Gonna... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a stand in a field and I can do a once rugby tackle. Yeah. <laughs> So he distracts him, so yeah. he's yeah. you coming. Yeah, we did go for a nice little gentle ankle oh, cut God. or like I mean, a spear. I, I I'm, not a, I'm not a man who should be rugby tackling anyone at my height. Right. And my, I mean, I've got the build for it. Oh, Imagine wow. if I just broke my shoulder on his leg. <laughs> <laughs> he's cancelled his yeah, gigs. He's, he's got a shattered knee, you've yeah. got a broken shoulder. Oh. So the folk well. singer's laughing her head off. Yeah, she's, she's having a blast. Oh. Um, the other question is, have you ever been in a local newspaper? Yeah. More than once. Yeah, yeah. Once. I imagine the Bake Off probably gave a bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 I did. Um, but more than once, the first time I was in a local newspaper was in that particular sort of 70s period, 60s, 70s period when I put a charity concert on with my friend Lee. Oh, cool. At our school to raise money for the local hospital. I don't know if the local hospital needed money, but we just thought we'd be pretty righteous. And there's a clipping of it I've got at home. And I think we raised in the low pounds. Oh, right. But we... I don't know what we were sending a ticket at. <laughs> <laughs> I might have got 20p or something. <laughs> but we came out and we did songs from uh, T-Rex, you know, Mark Boland's okay. band. Yeah. He sang. We had a tape playing and I played guitar. Over, we, you know, we did all the three classics. <laughs> That's <laughs> and, um, Yeah. I get dressed. He yeah. had, he had um, dark green satin waistcoat uh, jacket and oh so he flares. was there oh. he was yeah he oh, was right. on stage oh, cool. and he had also had a walking stick that we both went and bought walk like canes <laughs> like a pimp cane <laughs> so to defend yourself from the audience from our <laughs> mad fans yeah. oh my god I mean yeah it was him and me were dressed like this regularly and we yeah you know we were the lightning strike lads unbelievable the lightning strike lads I mean it? I just made that up I oh, wish right. <laughs> I wish I'd say, yeah. called our band that. <laughs> Hashtag, yeah. yeah I, so, I think that one's going to be hard to beat for I a local so. newspaper story yeah. that we put on at our own charity. I just love the way that can, where that can go, go, really. I'm sure you probably yeah. had a few others. Have you had any interesting stories with the Fire Brigade? I know you probably, obviously, some interesting ones you probably, you know, you might better share. But uh, Yeah, um, so I tell you, there's a, there's a slip on my wall at work. So when you get a call, it comes through. It comes through a printer. So it oh. proper prints out, like, do, 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 you know, one oh, of those. You nice rip it off. Yeah, old yeah. School, yeah. And um, it's pinned on our notice board at work for being the best shout we've ever had, and it is banana skinner light. <laughs> <laughs> so someone's called that in and gone. I know what we need to sort this situation out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't least, on it, but it was, yeah. It means at least three highly trained people and a fire engine because yeah, a, yeah. a banana skin is alive. You get, I mean, people call, I mean, it's unbelievable what you get called for. You know, just just ridiculous things. I mean, anything you can imagine that, you know, they call out and you, you turn up and they go, yeah, this is flooded. You get you know? a lot of time wasters then. Yeah, well, it's yeah. not even that. You know, people generally phone up because they think they need help. But you sort of go, like, the bathroom's flooded. Have you turned your tap off? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, or look, if you turn your water off under your sink, oh yeah, oh, my yeah, and you sort of go wow. right, it's in a bit, and that's you know you get things like that all the time. Surely you'd call a plumber. Not yeah, you think so? Or the amount of times you get phone calls of people locked out on a Friday night, go, yeah, I've left the oven on. Really, you look like you've been out all night. Have you lost your keys? Oh. And then they go, yeah, can you let me in? And you go, yeah, we'll let you in with this, like oh. the enforcer, the thing you knock. Yeah. Well, can you not do it like? Get in through the lock. What you wanted as a locksmith, not the fire brigade, because <laughs> we've got this. And if your oven's on, yeah, yeah, we got to go in. Oh, maybe it's not on. Oh, no. no. Maybe oh, so, yeah, man. you get that sort of stuff. It was like three o'clock in the morning on a Saturday night. 
Okay. Oh, I have a friend who's yeah. a uh, police dispatcher, and again, there's very little he can share for obvious yeah, reasons. Yeah. But he says most of the calls are just people who can't seem to run their own lives. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. can you come and sort this out for me? Yeah, so, there was. Well, uh, that's not really what the police are for. There's a show on BBC that I think have the permission to record or show some of those mm. calls. And there was one about her online shopping delivery didn't turn up in time or something, so she rang up. And it's just the like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sainsbury's haven't delivered my. Uh, my, uh, my, uh, in my allocated slot, can I, can I get them in trouble? And I was like, what? Well, there's like a, loads of bad ones like that. Though. Loads, they did like, it over, yeah. over Christmas, didn't they? There's always <clears> Christmas ones of how long do you cut your turkey? No, no, no. You know, the phone nine 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 for that. And it's yeah, yeah. We've yeah, listened yeah. to a few. There's always <sighs> yeah. you know you sort of listen to them back on the shows and stuff. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. But it's exactly right. People just think oh, I know what I'll do. I'll just phone nine nine nine. That's the easiest thing to do. Shall we do a dear Bartians? Yes, let's this do is, a dear Bartians. Uh, if you have a, uh, a dear Bartians for us, email us bartians at gmail.com and title it Dear Bartians. Let's run the theme. Today's letter, children. <laughs> uh, where is it from? Uh, this is from Gemma in Dublin. It's a real quick email. Uh, as seasoned gentlemen, I quite like that. Are we <laughs> gentle, sprinkling? That sounds like a euphemism for old to yeah. me. Yeah. Or they're just like mm. sprinkling salt and pepper oh, on salt us. Or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, salt bay. He's everywhere, isn't he? Mm. I wanted to know what was cool when you were young that is not now. That's from Gemma in oh. Dublin. Is it, is it pages? <laughs> pages, yeah. Pages, stripes over one eye in yeah. platform shoes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I thought it was a really good question. Um, what was cool? Yeah, what yeah. was cool then that isn't cool now? Well, centre partings. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Parting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I had a centre parting in the 90s. Oh, can yeah. we get that? Yeah. Well, a photo of it. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like centre partings and curtains and curtains. Yeah, curtains. undercuts yeah. as well with the bowl and you sort of yeah, almost yeah. look as if oh, you shaved although, around it. Although although Manchester. I, are cool again. Yeah, this is are what I'm going to say. Like, I just walk in from London Bridge to here today. So, you know, the wavy, you know about that like, wavy fashion. So it's a real 90s sort of look. Right. I saw people, like there used to be these big like feeler trainers and stuff in the 90s yeah that's they're right they're really big and they're <laughs> oh, massive again yeah. now I bet you could see a centre part of the curtains today yeah if you went out you into London come out, yeah. that 90s look is coming back in so I imagine to us it is uncool but there's going to be people out there yeah. who think this is always comes around again it does fully yeah. yeah I mean still waiting for my look with a lightning bolt but it's, <laughs> yeah, it's going to happen since, it's Bowie, gonna happen. since <laughs> Bowie, Bowie and I pioneered it it's been <laughs> yeah <laughs> I haven't seen it very often I remember Adidas popper trousers when I was in my teens I, do you remember I don't those? even know what they are I was no, so was uncool in, at the time I was time. sort of in secondary school maybe 13, 14 so I think you guys are like a couple of years older than me so like you, know, you might have been maybe 17, 18 or something but like they were the Adidas trousers and they had poppers up the side they were like yeah. sweatpant trousers so Kappa did a pair as well but yeah. again I bet you can get those now yeah but people used to go up to you and just literally go yeah. <laughs> like pull them apart and then all of a sudden you'd have flares yeah. you would literally be walking like yeah. flare, <laughs> like your pants would be on shave like why did you do that I used to add a fake yeah, pair my, my mum couldn't afford these because these are expensive and on eBay, yeah. you can still get some, yeah, yeah. but they're going for like 60 70 quid now. Um, but even back then, they were expensive. But I got some like rip off ones that had like five Adidas stripes on them, yeah. <laughs> so that was what, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like NAFCO, um, yeah. oh, and all naf that sort of stuff, yeah, and, and um, naf spliffy naf jeans, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There was like a, a weird, like Jamaican style character with like all heavy threading on black jeans and stuff, so yeah. The, yeah. So the three I remember, I'm going to go back to the earliest, the latest, fluorescent socks, Ooh. hairy fluorescent socks. Yes. Yeah, uh, which would always just fall to bits. Then there were trim balls. You remember trim uh, balls? Yeah. Which were like a sort of ball with a larger ball underneath and a plastic platform and you stood on it and bounced up and down. Yeah, oh. I fully remember that. They've probably got a different name, but like locally we called, called Moon Yeah, Maybe. could have been called Moon And sometimes balls. they have yeah. handles as well. You know? yes, yes, it's yeah. super posh I had, ones. I had one of those, yeah. 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 And... Finally, those high-topped trainers that were like sort of semi-boots, but not quite. Right. And I remember yeah. the PE teachers really hating them. <laughs> and life. There's just so yeah. much, isn't it? Like I say, it does go full circle, but some never resurface. You know, yeah. yeah. Well, I, used to, I, I took my um, kids to a sort of fun park thing the other week where they sold stuff. At the, on the way out, they would sell you loads of tat, didn't they? And what I used to think was cool then, do you remember... Um, key rings that were elasticated oh yeah <laughs> and every time I went yeah. on like a school trip I'd go oh I need a new one of them like, and yeah like again fluoro like the socks just a coily bit of plastic that you could that's right yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah so, that's right. Yeah, so you could thing, essentially yeah. undo your front door and it would yeah. Pew, yeah. Ping, yeah. Back yeah. Back ping back stick in your leg yeah wow. <laughs> fantastic uh, what I don't well what, what I do see now is the old white socks and flip flops 
but isn't there a name from like sliders or something? Sliders, oh. yeah, yeah. My, Socks and my, sliders. Yeah, my nephews are really into that now. And back in the day, like in the nineties or two thousands, it was kind of like, what the heck is that? that but now, an old man. Yeah, thing, my nephews like wearing yeah. that all the time. Yeah. Like, yeah, Love big old it. flat caps with no. Used to peek a hat if you ever got it. Used yeah. to sort of bend the front of it, and now uh, it's like real flat. And yeah. these sliders and white socks, it's uh, it's, it's a strong look I mean, for someone. I've got one question before we finish, Matt. Yeah, always want to know this, and you are the only man I've ever met who will have an answer. Is this true about Mel and Sue? So on set. They didn't like people sort of getting teary and upset and then having sort of all the camera on them and then making a big thing and sort of playing it up. So to avoid it, if somebody was getting sort of upset and teary, they would lean over to the microphone and swear into it constantly so the footage couldn't be used. Well, I, yeah, I can imagine they probably would do that. I like um, them even more now. They were, wow. they were so lovely. They made a lovely um, experience better. I think. Yeah, they were absolutely brilliant. But Aww. yeah, they I could see them deflecting cameras from you. Yeah. It brilliant. seemed proper genuine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a, a full fat female version of Stuart and I. We're, we're like the semi skimmed version. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I've had a good Christmas. Not come out now. Oh, okay. Uh, wholesome. Uh, wholesome. Hello, wholesome. wholesome. That's there better, we yes. go. Not yeah. whole milk. Wholesome, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. my no, they, yeah, they were absolutely amazing. Oh, that's yeah, really that's, nice that's, to yeah. hear that. Yeah. So I remember hearing that and thought that's a really nice thing. Because oh, cool. you know, an editor will love to make a big thing out of somebody looking yeah, a bit yeah. up, so, oh, zoom yeah. right into the That's eyeball, the footage you, you want, know. I was saying earlier. Like, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I did a similar thing constantly. Yeah, if you knew it was going bad, I just keep swearing. I remember mm. just, yeah, every time I open a fridge, being like, can you not get, yeah, can it be hand down? No, no, just go. Because yeah, it was. <laughs> big yeah. t shirt with a V sign on it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's going well. There we are. So, listeners, that's how to. Uh, <laughs> if you're being filmed for something and you don't want the footage to be used, just be very rude. Yeah. <laughs> so, Matt, do you want to promote yourself before we go? Where, where can people find you? Um, so, yeah, YouTube, which is The Life of Riley. Same for Instagram. And uh, people just go on Twitter. Yeah. 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 Matt I can't Riley. Uh, I love Matt. to show I do. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, just Matt Riley. All righty. Thank you. Nice well, that's been a podcast. Uh, remember, you can download it. On your downloading machines. Yeah, on your... On your pager. On your Creative Zen or your Microsoft Zen. Yeah, and obviously on YouTube. So comment down below any future guest ideas, any questions, any ideas for formats and that. And uh, I think that's... Yeah, lovely. Yeah, Thank you very yeah, much. Thanks, Thank you very much. Really. Much yeah. appreciated. It's been lovely. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bastions! <laughs> Not the mic. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs>